DJ's introduction into Street Fighter 6 emancipates him from his old charge-only archetype and we see him introduced with some motion controls. He's been given some tweaks to his old moves, he's got an additional tool, and he's got a few more command moments. The key to excelling with DJ is learning how to integrate all these tools, becoming problematic for your opponent, while being able to exercise all of the abilities that DJ has in order to be super oppressive. Keep in mind, because of the range of abilities that he has and the different variations, you can play him as, as a straightforward character, but he really shines when you learn how to train your opponent into thinking that you're going to do this, and you end up not doing this with his feints, and then proceeding to punish the feints, making your opponent question every move that they're going to do and wonder what you're going to do next. DJ's standing light jab is a 4 frame normal, his crouching light jab is a 5 frame normal. Both of these can be chained together and cancelled into special moves. Both of these are negative 1 on block, so they're relatively safe to just throw out. DJ's crouching light kick and DJ's standing light kick are both 5 frame normal. They're both negative 2 on block, so also relatively safe to throw out and pressure your opponent to see whether they're mashing or not. While DJ's crouching light kick is not special cancelable, his standing light kick is, and it has enough frame advantage where you can cancel into his heavy version of some light kick. Standing medium punch is plus 5 on hit and plus 2 on block. Plus 5 on hit means you can link it into standing light kick and cancel it into heavy so light kick. And you would do that because his standing medium punch isn't special cancelable by any means. However, with it being plus 2 on block, you can definitely keep applying pressure to your opponents with any of your light normals for safety. Crouching medium punch will leave you plus 4 on hit, however it has enough hit stun to be able to cancel into the light version of maximum upper. It's also negative 1 on block. You can also use this to drive rush on your opponent. DJ standing heavy punch is kind of funky. It, you can only cancel it within like the first frame or the first two frames of its activity, but it has enough hit stun that you should be able to cancel it into any of his specials. This also pertains to drive rush. You, you can't really throw it too, out too much in neutral. You really want to be closer if you're trying to fish for something with that. Um, it does have range and I believe on the, the maximum amount of range on it, it it's about seven frames, but you're not likely to do too much with that from the distance that you'll be hitting them from. On block, however, at close range, it'll leave you at negative four, so you can be punished by your opponent's light combo if they decide to throw out a button after that. DJ's crouching heavy punch is negative two on block. However, it's plus six on hit. That means that you can link it into his crouching medium punch into light punch maximum upper, or you can go for a standing light kick into heavy sobot kick. Standing medium kick is a great poke throw out there, has great distance, however it's not special cancelled anymore. It will leave you at plus 6 on hit, so if you're close enough you can link that into crouching medium punch into light maximum upper, or standing punch into medium sobot kick, standing light kick into the medium sobot kick, or do a little bit of delay and try and throw your opponent to mix up you know, the options that you have. 
standing medium kick will also leave you at negative one on block, which means you're relatively safe throwing that out there with no repercussions. DJ's crouching medium kick actually functions as a sweep. On block, it'll actually be negative six, but on hit, I think you're like plus 34, and of course, you know, you got the knockdown, so you can go into a variety of mix-up options. It's not special cancelable, and it's not super cancelable, but at a, at a safe distance, you should be able to throw that out there to punish anybody else's sweep. DJ's roundhouse, his standing heavy kick, is not special cancelable, um, but it does do a decent amount of forward movement on block and on hit. On hit, it's only plus one, but on block, it's negative five, so your opponent can punish you with a light. Definitely something that you want to try and poke or punish your opponent with. DJ's crouching heavy kick is a slide. Um, and it does have some anti-air capabilities if you can catch your opponent jumping in the, in the correct arc. Um, it'll leave you at negative 11 on block and anywhere between 33 and 37 frames positive on hit. Not something that I would really throw out there unless you're trying to get out of the situation. Back heavy kick is a great tool to use um, on block strings with sway. Uh, it will leave enough block stun so that when your opponent throws something out, you should be able to react, react with a low for the counter hit, or just sway to have enough safety so that whatever they throw out next, you're safe from. Um, it's also great for his juggle combos which you use after a drive rush. Um, it's it's not it's not the greatest on a regular hit. It's just plus one on regular hit. But it is special cancelable, so you, you know you can go wild as your uh, imagination sees fit. Forward medium kick is DJ. It's not actually. It's not an overhead. Let me let me correct myself. It is not an overhead, although it appears to be. Um, the sway version is an overhead. However, his regular forward medium kick is not an overhead. It is plus one on block, and it can link into. Crouching medium or crouching light punch on hit. It's actually plus five on hit, so it can link into standing light, and you can do heavy sobot kick from there for more mix up. DJ's target combo: the light punch, medium kick, medium kick combo. Um, the first hit negative one. The second hit is actually negative three, so you can sort of use that as a confirmed to to gauge whether or not you can keep applying pressure to your opponent. However, if you face mash and you end up doing all three hits on block, you'll be left at negative eight. However, on hit, you'll be left at plus two. It'll be the perfect opportunity to keep applying pressure either with your light punches, your light kicks, or um, a throw to mix things up on your opponent. It is also not super cancelable at all. DJ's medium punch, medium punch, heavy punch target combo is kind of weird. It's not a true attack string, and it's also not a true block string. Um, on block, the first hit is plus two. The second hit is negative two. However, there's enough time for your opponent to start throwing out an attack, but not enough time for them to actually complete an attack. So if they're throwing out an invincible reversal, you can be punished. However, if they're putting out anything else, they'll actually end up getting caught in the frame trap. Of course, if they choose to keep blocking, you'll end up being negative eight. Um, also on hit, you know, the first two medium punches will connect, um, but the last punch is not a true attack stream, so it, it will reset. He also has a built-in faint option if you hold back and press HP on the third hit. On hit, you will end up negative four, so just enough to recover and protect yourself. But on block, you'll end up at negative six, and if your opponent's wary enough, you can be punched. The medium punch, heavy punch, heavy kick target combo is a true block string, and unlike its predecessors, is actually super cancelable, but not special cancelable. On hit, the first attack will leave you at plus five. The second attack will actually leave you at negative two, but at this point, you might as well confirm it into the heavy kick and go for the plus 34 in the corner carry. 
on block, the second attack will leave you at negative 11, and the third attack will leave you at negative 13. So it's not something that you're really going to want to throw out unless you know for sure that you're going to commit. So about DJ's Air Slashers, he's got two actual attacks, his medium throws out one fireball, his heavy has a free two, two fireball. Um, and his light version is actually a feint. You would want to use the feint uh, to make standing heavy punch safe on block at negative two. Um, and also try and bait out uh, any, any anti fireball maneuvers like jumps or slides. His medium version will leave you negative five point blank on block and zero even on hit. This really wouldn't be an optimal tool to try and use in combos, just definitely for zoning purposes. The heavy version of Air Slasher is also used for zoning purposes, not really, um, it doesn't really have a use in combos, and it's not something that you want to throw out often unless you're trying to counter zoners like JP or Reed. There will be a lot of recovery on both of the fireball animations, so you don't want to train your opponent to look out for that and then get caught with a jump in. The EF version has some interesting properties. Um, if you're point blank, if you use it in a combo point blank, maybe from a jump in, it'll leave your opponent standing at plus five. You can link that with your standing light kick and continue your combo. However, if you manage to juggle your opponent and hit them with the Air Slasher EX while they're in the air, it'll give you a float property that'll allow you for more combo freestyle. The EX Air Slasher will actually leave you at plus two on block. Like with his Air Slasher, DJ's Sobop Kick actually has two attacks and a feint. The light version is a whole 26 frames, so that's not really something that you're going to want to throw out there. It won't make anything on block safe, uh, but you do want to use that sort of as a mix-up option to get in your opponent's head when they're unsuspecting. Something that you could, you know, use instead of like the medium sobot kick so that they're not looking to block and then you can surprise them with a throw. But the light feint won't leave you safe in any regard. It, it will just only be used to get in your opponent's head. Medium Sobot Kick can be used from any variation of your light normals, standing or crouching, except for crouching and light kick. And although it does leave you at negative six, um, if you use it after two light normals, you should have enough space to make yourself safe. On hit, it is 34 frames positive. Um, you can actually cancel this into your level three, although I would not advise that unless you're in the corner and you have the hands of a god, because it's not easy to do. Heavy Sobot Kick can be canceled into from your standing light kick, your crouching medium punch, and your heavy punch. Standing heavy punch. This move will leave you plus two on hit while your opponent is standing, allowing you to further mix up your opponent with a throw or further light. The ES version has longer startup than the hard version, so you can only cancel into it from a crouching medium punch or a heavy standing punch. And although you are airborne on the second hit, you can't cancel into your level three super. You can cancel into any super. So Jackknife Maximum also matches the, the set parameters that his last two specials have had. Um, the light version being a feint, the medium version, and version as an anti-air. If you catch your opponent jumping early, you should suspect them of jumping, but it does not have invincibility properties. The heavy version does, so that's what you're going to be using um, when you recognize somebody jumping in for an attack. Uh, in the corner, you can... Um, in the corner, you can combo the medium kick version into the heavy kick version, and some places mid-screen, you can do medium kick into EX. Very tight timing, it's not something that I would recommend doing all the time, unless you know you got it like that. 
However, the light version used to fake out your opponents and maybe, you know, try and bait out an anti-air or just keep them, try and catch them blocking on the ground. And what you'll notice is that the um, drop knee, the um, down L that you have in the air will change the trajectory of your jump. Throwing it out early will actually make you land further away from the opponent. So you can kind of use that as a, a cross up if you use it at close range. So maximum uppercut is where the light version of his specials actually start functioning. The light version having a 15 frame startup, medium has 22 frames, and the heavy and EX versions have 28 frames. With the light version having only 15 frames of startup, you can cancel it from his standing light kick. The medium version being able to be comboed into from his standing heavy punch and his heavy and EX versions only able to be used as either punishes or from a float state when your opponent has been hit by a drive impact. You're not going to want to throw any of these attacks out unless you have a confirm for them. They're all negative 19 on block and once your opponent recognizes that they will blow you up for it. His sway is the same from all three levels of kick strength. Um, using sway is an important part of BJ's block strings and keeping them safe when using them from special cancelable normals. You'll notice that his low sway, his sway into low is only negative two on block. His overhead is plus one, although it's very telegraphed and can be interrupted. His heavy his sway into heavy is an anti-air. The heavy version, his main utility I would say is uh, for combo filler, especially when you have your opponent in the corner. The sway into low is actually plus four on counter hit, uh, so you can link that into your standing light into medium so on. The beauty of the EX version of sway is that it launches your opponent. You do an, an uppercut, and then from there you have full range of motion. DJ does have a sway into dash, and a dash into a back dash. Now, these tools you're definitely gonna want to use against zoners as the uh, sway is projectile invulnerable, so you can dash through, especially for, for people having trouble with JP. You can use this option to go through his projectiles and his command grab projectile. In training mode, when you're looking at level 1, um, it will tell you that you can use it as a, a punish because it will stun your opponent for a little bit before they fall. And you can follow up with a drive rush hit into, you know, freestyle. However, I did notice when I was playing against a friend that if you manage to get a punish while they're in the air, you will get a full wall bounce. And that's just something that maybe you want to look out for. Um, I included that in the beginning of the video. If your opponent throws out a bad, you know, Shoryuken or does a bad, a very telegraphed jump. There are three versions of his level two. Um, his light version, you know, you just press the buttons and you get the combo. The medium and heavy versions have a rhythm to them, although the medium version is a little bit more relaxed. What you'll notice is that there's an increase in damage, of course, from the varying levels of strength. However, the timing for the heavy version is um, a little bit stricter, um, and it just looks like you have to press each corresponding button when you notice that the prior button makes its uh, connection, like it makes its hit with the opponent. The heavy version, the heavy ender to the medium and heavy versions will side switch. Um, the heavy kick version ender will keep them on the same side that they were and they both do the same amount of damage. So you can use that situationally if you have the awareness. One thing I did fail to mention is that during DJ's level two, if you drop the combo for any reason, uh, you'll notice that you're plus six on hit. What that means is that you can combo into any of his light normals or his crouching medium punch. Granted, um, unless you're doing a drive of rush, you might as well just finish the combo for more damage. I don't have much to say about his level three. You know, it, it, it does damage. 
and you can you can use it anywhere it functions as an anti-air as well so in invincibility frames you know throw it throw it wherever you see an opening or whenever you're trying to finish a combo I'd just like to thank you if you stayed tuned into the video the whole time. Um, Street Fighter 6 really brought out the competitive spirit in me and made me want to start making videos again. Um, and I, I felt like I haven't had that for a long time. If you check my channel, you can see that I haven't uploaded anything within the past couple years. So I'm hoping to do a little bit more of these in-depth character study guides so that you can know how the tools that you've been given can be applied in real matches. I'm not really one for telling you how to do combos, um, but I will leave a couple of my favorites on the screen right now and some um, pressure situations that I've used them in. However, um, drop a like if you like, you know, and uh, let me know what character you'd like to see next. I'm, I'm planning on Ken, but I'm not quite sure because he's, he's kind of he's boring, to be honest. But anyway, thank you. Later.